In this video, we're looking at Sherwin-Williams Accessible Beige. There's no doubt that beiges are becoming popular again, but we're not looking at the old beiges of like the Tuscan era of the two, early 2000s, don't worry. These new beiges are awesome possum because they are modern and trendy looking beiges while still giving you that warmth you're looking for. And no beige is more popular than Sherwin-Williams Accessible Beige. As you can see, it's beige. I've got this white backdrop here so you can see the level of depth it has. Now the thing that tells us what depth the color is, is it's LRV and that's a number it has. And I have a great blog post on it if you wanna check it out. Accessible Beige has an LRV of 58. This tells us it's a light depth paint color, but it's on the lower end of the light range. So it's not light and bright and cheery. It's got a little bit more visual weight to it and it will contrast a bit more with your white trims. Now Accessible Beige, isn't what I would call a cheery, bright, warm beige. It's very muted because it's got a touch of gray in it. Now, as for undertones, accessible beige is all over the place. I, I find it pretty well balanced in that most times it doesn't cater overly green or overly pink, but that can be relative to the space it's in. Some beiges commit to more orange pink undertones, and we'll be looking at some of those comparisons shortly. Other beiges commit to green which can make Accessible Beige look more pink in comparison. I found Accessible Beige really well balanced and its main undertone, more than anything, is gray, but being a beige, it has an orange base that it sits on. Now, if you have a dark room, Accessible Beige, it's gonna look drab, flat, gloomy. I wouldn't do Accessible Beige in a dark room unless you can really jack things up with better interior lighting. You know, you might wanna get your Kelvins, like the temperature of your light bulbs, Around 3000 is a nice spot with accessible beige. Now, if you have a north facing room, north facing light is a cool light. If you have a bright north facing room, accessible beige can work. It might not be as warm as you would love it to be. There are warmer beiges for north facing rooms. But if you're nervous about beige, but you want that passive warmth for your northern space, or say you have a room with eastern, eastern afternoon light or western morning light, these are flat lights. This accessible beige is a great way to enter the beige world without getting inundated with a committed kind of orange or orange pink or orange yellow warmth. It's super subtle. On the other hand, if you have a south facing room or one with Western afternoon sunshine, those rooms are warm. Like you can get a lot of golden light, especially in the later afternoon. Some beiges can like, like you, you'd be like wiping your mustache sweat all day long. Accessible beige is great because of that nice gray undertone it has. Even in a south facing or west facing room, it doesn't, it will lean warmer, every color will, but it doesn't really overheat as much as some colors will. Now, an important part of choosing accessible, accessible beige is making sure that it goes with your white. So your white trim, your white cabinets. Now you might have an existing white paint color that you want to coordinate with and you wanna know if it works with accessible beige. We've got a wide range here, or you might be painting your trimming cabinets. So you wanna see what is the best choice. So let's take a look. Starting with Sherwin-Williams Alabaster. As far, as far as warm whites go, Alabaster is as warm as I would go. If you add any more cream, it's gonna hit a little fugly spot with accessible beige. Alabaster is on the edge, definitely doable. Would I choose it if I was painting from scratch? No, I think it's a touch too warm, but if I have alabaster trimmer cabinets and I want accessible beige walls, would I do it? Yeah, I'd do it for sure. Here, I'll give you another quick peek at that. It's pretty for sure. Sherwin-Williams Extra White. This is a little bit of a brighter contrasting look. You know, being a nice earthy, moody neutral, it doesn't necessarily want these brighter whites. That's not to say it's a bad choice if you have it, but if you're starting from scratch, I would not choose extra white. Just a little bit stark for our accessible beige there. We got here Sherwin-Williams Pure White. Awesome choice. If you're sticking with Sherwin-Williams Paint, Pure White is the best choice with accessible beige. Love it. Let's compare that to Alabaster. So I always compare colors. I, I never just choose something based on itself. I want to say, well, is there something better, right? And that's why you have me. You don't need to guess. Just look at my videos, look at my blogs. I'll tell you what to compare with. So take a look at that. We've got pure white, we've got alabaster. 
Both are pretty and both definitely have their place depending on the look you're going for. Alabaster is a softer look, pure white is a cleaner look without being too stark like Sherwin-Williams High Reflective White. It's pretty stark for accessible beige. And we got a couple more here. Now you might have cream trim. So let's say you have Sherwin-Williams Creamy, Antique White, Benjamin Moore Navajo White. Accessible Beige does not really love cream trim. Case in point. It's just, this is a hot mess. Like, if you do this, you're, you're backdating your home. It's, it's winking at the early 2000s, which is probably what you want to get out of. You either need to choose a color that better suits your cream. And I, I know I have a huge blog post on it, and I think I have a video too. So you either need to choose a better color, which is going to be darker, or you need to paint your trim. And that's like, don't kill the ginger messenger. That's just, that's just the way it is with cream trim. It's tricky. But my favorite, if you can bounce over to Benjamin Moore, check out White Dove. It is like the love child of Sherwin-Williams Alabaster and Pure White. It's warmer than Pure White, not as warm as Alabaster. Mad love. That's my number one choice. And don't get Sherwin-Williams to color match it. It's not good. It's really not good. Now, let's move along to see what colors compare with accessible beige. 